Basel is crazy about arts. Let's find out why even Picasso knew this and what other stories the Basel's works of art have to tell you. Basel gallery owner and art collector Anne Spaler is said to have proclaimed once, this work alone deserves a whole museum. He loved that three-panel water lilies painting by Claude Monet so much that he dedicated a whole museum to it. The Fondation Baylor. I want to create something fun, something for children to climb or jump around on. I want it to be appealing, joyful, happy, crazy, yes, maybe like being at a fair. This is what the Swiss artist Jean Tangeli is said to have proclaimed before he started creating this fascinating sculpture. The große Meta Maxi Maxi Utopia at the Museum Tangeli demonstrates perfectly the obsession of the artist by creating entire metamechanical words out of repurposed materials. In 1967, a local art collector faces financial difficulties and decides to sell his two paintings, Arlecassi and Les Deux Frères by Picasso, which are then on loan to the Kunstmuseum. Basel's art lovers won't have it. With the slogan, all you need is Pablo, they take to the streets, collect donations and, with the referendum, induce the city to buy the two paintings for over 8 million Swiss francs and hence keeping them accessible to the public. Picasso himself was so impressed by this dedication that he donated four of his works to the Kunstmuseum. This is why, to this day, the Kunstmuseum Basel houses one of the most important Picasso collections in Europe. Self-portraits played an important role in Vincent van Gogh's work. Models were scarce and expensive, but his own reflection in the mirror always available. Van Gogh created over 30 self-portraits, which provide an insight into the changes the artist underwent over time. In this portrait, his play with contrasts comes out particularly well. The bright orange juxtaposes with the blue coat, and the red tones in his face are in dialogue with his emerald green eyes, which captivate the viewer. With the burghers of Calais, Auguste Rodin was creating a new type of memorial. Instead of showing heroes on a pedestal, he was sculpting an image of unconditional capitulation and sacrifice. Barefoot, wearing simple shirts and ropes around the neck. Six leading citizens met with the English king, Edward III, and offered to die if he spared the people of Calais. This selfless gesture and the pleas of his queen, Philippa of Hainaut, are said to have saved the six men from execution. Thank you.